How to add a privacy policy in WordPress. Easy. Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step how you can include a privacy policy page, how you can write one, and how you can include that in your footer menu in WordPress. So let's get into it. Now to get started, I am going to go into the dashboard of my WordPress site. And over here, we are going to create our privacy policy page. Now, Usually privacy policy pages are dedicated page that is dedicated to your privacy policy, shipping policy, or exchange policy. I would like to create a singular page for my privacy policy and then create a separate page for my shipping policy or any other terms of service. You can choose to create a combined page where it has displayed all three of these all together. That is up to your personal preferences on how you want to structure your pages. Now, to create our privacy policy page, all you have to do is click on pages on the left panel. Once you click on pages, you are going to click on add new page on the top. Now, once you click on add new page, it's time to start designing. Now, you can use Elementor to edit this. You can also use any of the template providers to search or, you know, to find a appropriate page for you. You can also just, you know, create it simply on the WordPress editor. So I am going to be creating a simple privacy policy using the WordPress editor. So over here on the right, we have different ways that we can include different types of blocks. First off, we are going to add our heading, which is going to be all members of our website need to agree to these privacy policy terms. And if you want, once you do that, you can add things like different groups, columns, images, galleries, buttons, stacks, lists, or quotations. But privacy policies usually are pretty straightforward. You only have things like headings, and you can even click on the top left plus icon to include different paragraphs and structural elements. Now, to actually write your privacy policy, you can use an AI-based tool like ChatGPT. So I will ask ChatGPT to write a privacy policy for my site where I sell products and display my portfolio like this. And once you do that, it is going to create a uh, privacy policy for you. And you will see there are customizable sections in this. And then below that, you will see all of the information and you can customize this template. So let's say I don't collect people's shipping and billing addresses. So I will remove that when I'm copying this in to my WordPress site. So I am going to wait for this to be completed. And one really important thing that you want to include is your contact information. So a lot of people skip out their contact info which is actually a really important part of, you know, including in your privacy policy, especially if you don't have a separate dedicated contact section like I have over here. So to get started, I am just going to paste in the privacy policy as it is. Once done, I am going to change the last updated date to the present date. So it's going to be 28 June 2024 like this and once i have done that we can see different sections so welcome to our website's name which is going to be ruffles and after that we are going to remove this sections these you know words or terms this privacy policy explains how we collect your use or safeguard your information when you visit our website and you're just going to rename this section to your website's domain ruffled.site which is going to be our domain and i'm going to change this and you make a purchase from our store like this and then we have all of the information about when you visit our site this usage data is you know blah 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 all you know the legal parameters that you have to cover just make sure to read through all of this so that it is compliant with your information so once you feel like, okay, this is accurate to all of your privacy policies or all of your 
data usages that you're doing, you need to make sure that you are disclosing all of the information that you collect and how you're going to be using it, how it is disclosed, as well as how they are going to be collecting, you know, what type of information is going to remain with you, as well as the information that is not going to be shared with other people. Now click on publish on the top right and then click on publish. Now, once you've published your page, you can click on view page over here to view what your privacy policy page looks like. So this is what my page looks like. It's pretty standard and basic. Now I can go back and further customize the appearance a little. So I can click on edit once more and I can proceed with a little more editing. So I can go ahead and add dividers. You can add different types of detail sections, list sections, as well as spacers, title writers to make your page look a bit more visually appealing. However, even after you have created all of your visual appeal, you still have to include this in your website because just because you created a page doesn't mean it will be included in your website. So to actually include your page in your website or in your WordPress site, you are going to go back into your WordPress dashboard. Once you go back into your WordPress dashboard, you're going to go into appearance on the left panel. Once you go into appearance on the left panel, a drop down menu will appear. In this menu, click on menus over here and you will see different menus. So you have your standard menu and then below that you can click on over here and you have your standard menu as your header, header menu, and then you have your footer menu. So what you're going to do is you are going to click on edit menus over here and create a new menu. So click on create new menu over here and then you're going to name this. So this is going to be our footer menu and I want to display it on the footer section. Click on add menu or create menu. Once this has been created, what you are going to do is you are going to choose what you want to display. So on the left column, you will see all of your pages and what you're simply going to do is you can search for your privacy policy and you will see your privacy policy page will appear. Click on add to menu over here and click on save menu. Once this has been completed, you can now see your footer menu displaying your privacy policy in your WordPress site. And you can actually do a double check. Sometimes you might have to refresh this after, you know, a couple of seconds, your footer menu will appear. And you can even go on ahead and visit your site and click on edit site to edit the appearance of your site. So you can click on edit and edit the footer. And once you click on edit footer, you can include a link to your privacy policy page using Elementor or using your template builder as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.